This will be a beauty. It's Melbourne v Brisbane. The Storm coming off a loss in Magic Round. Brisbane very impressive against Manly. Let's get this one on on this Thursday night. The ball came free, but had a bit of help. So penalty Brisbane. The opening tackle of the game. Really been looking forward to this game all week. I reckon every now and then a game comes along where you've got to make a statement about yourself. And the Brisbane Broncos need to make that statement tonight. They need to put this Melbourne Storm thing behind them. The Storm have pretty much owned them for a long time. They've owned a lot of teams, actually, but... The Broncos need, they're in good form. They need to put this behind them tonight. Go down to Melbourne and win. Herbie Farnworth, goodbye, Ali Katoa. Tui Kamikamitha was in that tackle as well. Capel now stands in the tackle of King and Welsh. Walters, Reese Walsh down a short side. the halfway line or just beyond uh, the Broncos. Here's Payne Haas. Tui Kamakamita. Good contact. Kamakamita on Haas. Carrigan now. There's a good charge. Last play here for Brisbane. Reynolds. High kick. Ricky leading the chase. And that's a very good take by Meany at the back. Billy Slater sideline. Yeah, good evening, Salty. A little bit nippy down in Melbourne. Uh, with that, usually comes with some dew, but there's a slight breeze behind the Melbourne storm, about 11 kilometres per hour. That's just keeping the, the surface nice and, and dry, but there has been a bit of rain down in Victoria this week, so underneath will still be a little bit damp. There's some heavy contact. Carrigan on Welsh. Katoa. Ezra, man. Doing very well. He's got great technique defensively, is the man. Gets in low and drives with his shoulder. Reese Walsh taking that Cameron Munster kick on the full and throws a dummy and splits them. Reese Walsh in broken play. Up towards the halfway line and beyond. That's a good kick return from the Brisbane number one. Now Cobbo. Good tackle, the arrow. Quick as Reese Walsh. Lightning. Tony Staggs. Brisbane with good field position. Halfway through this set. Thanks to that Reese Walsh run. Flegler. The leg drive happening there. Thomas Flegler. Katoa did well down low in that tackle. Walters to Mam. Now Capewell. He'll do well to stay in the field of play. And he does stay in the field of play. Had plenty of attention. Man, the dummy half. Last play here for Brisbane. Reynolds kicks for Farnworth. Good take by Will Warbrick. All right, start to the game. Jerome Hughes with the run. Tackled by Capewell. Grant the dummy half. There's a solid tackle. Farnworth on Warbrick. Tui Kamakamita gets beyond the 20. Reynolds and Ricky in the tackle for Brisbane. Now Wells throws a dummy. Straight and hard from Kristen Wells, and then he's put on his back. More solid defence there from Patrick Carrigan. Last play, and Melbourne forced to kick from their own 30. And again, the kick taken on the full. Jesse Arthurs. He's really matured in the off-season as a player, Jesse Arthurs. One thing this year, he's running the ball. He's found another gear when he runs the ball. He charges. Really underrated player. Selwyn Cobbo for Brisbane. Haas into storm territory. Two tackles left in this set. Carrigan goes to Ezra Mam. Mam throws a dummy. Katoa and Hughes in there to affect the tackle. 
Last play. Reese Walsh. Can't find Jesse Arthurs. I think he was trying to find Herbie Farnworth there. Let's throw him a look at Her Herbie. Let him skip quick. Now Herbie ends up pulling his hands away. You can see he looks up. A dodge one there, oh. the storm. Justin Olam. Olam, by the way, is undefeated against Brisbane. Six games, six wins. Christian Welsh is nine games for nine wins as a Storm player against the Broncos. There's a run from Cameron Munster. But Jerome Hughes is eight games, eight wins and eight tries against the Broncos. Yeah, the Storm have owned the Broncos for the best part of a decade, probably. That's why I'm saying the Broncos are in really good form. They're leading the comp. They need to make a statement tonight, I reckon. Put this hudo behind them. Easier said than done down in Melbourne. Though. Hughes on the last. Arthur's underneath it for Brisbane. But I think that's the making of a good side. When you can when you can go away and beat a good side on their home ground when they play well, when you can beat a good side when they play well, then you know you're, you're a premiership contender. Well, Gus, I know you, for one, certainly wouldn't be surprised to see the transformation of this Brisbane side with Reese Walsh at, at fullback. He's had a lot to do with him. He's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's so much more to come. He's um, an exciting player. You can have players who are fast, but he's rugby league fast. In that he can change direction and actually gain speed when he changes direction. He's, he's a rare athlete. So well balanced. Xavier Coates, the former Bronco. Playing the ball in his own 30. He goes Justin Olam. Lost his footing as he got to... Thomas Flegler and Billy Walters. Patoa. It's a better set of six for the Storm as they edge towards the halfway line. Kamakamita tried to run over the top of Jordan Ricky, who did well down low before the cavalry came to help him out. Munster on the last. Kicks here for Xavier Coates. And Reese Walsh jumped in the air as he took that. Knows he got one over his opposition player there in a penalty Brisbane. They're just off the ground. Old teammates. Imagine they're good friends. They have a laugh with each other on the ground. Craig Bellamy won't be laughing, Andrew. Well, they fought their way back. They gave that penalty away the first tackle of the game. And Broncos just set up camp down the storm area. And then they fought their way back, but then once again, they've just legged up Brisbane to their own 30, which means Reynolds getting a tacky kick at the end of this set. Your discipline it has to be perfect. How good will this show be? Seven o'clock on Sunday, the summit. One of the most gripping, captivating TV shows I think we've seen in a long time. Saw a sneak peek of it. This is going to be something else. How are you with heights, Joe? Are you Awful. okay? Terrible. So we won't see you in the summit, but you'll be watching. Oh, no. Sure, a million dollars up for grabs. Here goes Katoni Staggs. Finds Selwyn Cobbo. Lost his footing or he's caught the feet there of... Tony Carrigan Hamakamitha down low King and Walsh over the top last play for Brisbane Reese Walsh nowhere to go and it'll be a turnover One of the rare occasions I get to watch the Broncos live these days, and one of the things I'm really impressed with is their line speed in defence. Um, 
which is very different to what I've seen in previous years. Obviously stronger and fitter and more confident, these young fellas. And whether they can do it for the 80 minutes, I've got to see, but really impressed with their line speed of their defence early in the game. Good strong run from Remus Smith. Reaches the halfway line. And they do get a six again. They're appealing for it. They do get a six again here. So Melbourne. Great opportunity for them. Come come Kamitha. Yeah, this will test your defence. When the Storm get a six again. Munster. Hughes. Dummy there to Katoa. Not fallen for by Capewell. Plays the ball on the 20. Harry Grant takes off. There goes Harry Grant towards the line. Great run. It was Capewell who got back there to make the tackle along with Reese Walsh. Munster to Christian Welsh. Last play here for Melbourne. Cameron Munster goes on his own. They run it on the last. It opened up in front of him and Munster opens the scoring for the Storm. I love these attacking plays coming back at the post against tired forwards. Move them to the left, move them to the right and then come back with a little bit of skill at the post. Look at the big gap underneath the uprights there. Munster reads it. Harvey Norman replay. Beautifully executed. Lovely set of six off the back of the repeat again. And the Broncos were just opened up there by the two playmakers. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, Patrick Carrigan, he was filthy. He was the first defender off the ruck and he had to fly in. Don't know who he was screaming at, but he wasn't happy with someone. And Munster, last week, he was quite Munster. But feel he's going to have a big game tonight. Billy? Yeah, talk about waves of attack. And first it was Harry Grant just attacking through the middle, found a, a bit of space and last tackle, Cameron Munster steps up. No ball playing there, just running the football. Melbourne Storm opening the scoring here tonight. Yeah, early in that set of six, Harry Grant picked up a ball from Dummy Half one-handed. It was so casual and so freakish. Looked like he was picking a peanut out of a bowl. McMeany converts. Superstar of our game, Cameron Munster. A reminder down the bottom of the screen, Origin, May 31, 20 days away. Yeah, don't pick your teams too early. The fact that Cameron Munster was in there underneath the posts on that play indicates that they identified that during the week. He was there for a reason. Love those plays coming back at the post with a few decoys and really testing the medal and the honesty of the forwards. And the Broncos were found wanting there. Good hands there from Christian Wells running onto that ball. Needy playing it. Munster just delayed the kick. Puts it up here for Xavier Coates. Selwyn Cobbo's got it, and Coates has got him. Tony Staggs. Ooh, Justin Ollum. That's the matchup I was looking forward to also. Ollum and also Katoni Staggs. Both powerhouses. And they're both like hurting opposition centres. A good shot in then Ollum. Grant, Welsh, the arrow was there as well. Reynolds, and straight down the centre of Amy Park. Meany, up towards the 30. 
Capel and Farnworth affect the tackle on the Melbourne Storm number one. Will Warbrick. Former warrior, Ellie Katoa. I think the Storm need more out of Ellie Katoa. We all know the potential he's got. They need more out of him. Jerome Hughes taken there by Flegler. Into Brisbane Territory by nine metres. Kamakamita. Offload. Harry Grant. They've got numbers here, the Storm. King to Munster. Throws a dummy. Still going Munster to Justin. Oh! And the Papua New Guinean superstar goes in in the corner. Well, he's hit him in the chest there, Rhys Walsh. Okay. This may be a shoulder Jerry. charge. Have no try. I think he's dropped the ball. Just need to uh, review the touch line coming to grounding, mate. It's a pretty heavy collision. And I think he's lost the ball. So we're going to see if Justin Ollum remains in the field of play. Well, hopefully they don't rule on the a shoulder foot charge of Justin here. Justin Ollum goes in a touch. Need to confirm that he has possession of the ball at that point. Rhys Voss's right arm comes around. And in desperation like this, you just throw everything you got. And look, there's no technique. He just throws himself at Ollum and gets the result. That's what your coach and your teammates want. Justin Ollum has lost the ball at the point that his foot touches the touch line. It then goes touching goal. A good decision. It was a great... That's, that's Reese Walsh putting his body on the line for his team. When you have a look at the, the technique, there's no technique. He just throws himself. He's got his head in front of the attacker. He just launches at him. This is a brave play. This will look great here. Watch. He just launches. Great desperation. Billy? It was a good decision because they were both heading to the same spot and then, then Olam changes his line to go to, in towards... Reese Walsh. Uh, there's not much he can do there. He, he's just got to embrace for, brace for contact. Make sure he doesn't hit Olam in the head, which he didn't do. I think that's a good decision. These paint halves for Brisbane, right in the centre of Amy Park. Carrigan. Short to Flegler. Set restart here for Brisbane. Billy Walters, Patrick Carrigan, Kamakamitha down low, Reese Walsh over the top, Trent Liero there as well. Chance for Brisbane now to hit back. Reynolds, Reese Walsh throws a dummy, beautiful ball, but he couldn't handle it. It's off off legs, knee. play on, play on, will they reach out and score? Adam Reynolds diving through, he's face planted yeah. the turf, plenty to look at here. Okay, Jerry. Starting no try. We have off the knee initially. We then need to check potential grab on the way through into the grounding. So they were both competing for it. They knew it was off the knee. Reese Walsh with a jink goes through the line. Initially looking to see whether the ball comes off Herbie Farmworth's knee or arm. Well, it's got to hit his left hand there somewhere, doesn't it? Just looking at all available angles. Satisfied that the ball strikes Herbie Farmworth's knee. We're playing on at this point. Now, Harry Grant won't want to have reached out here. Whoops. We're going to now look to determine the contact between Harry Grant and Herbie Farnworth. I think it's fair competition, but when you watch these on slow motion replays, sometimes just competing for the ball can look like a bit of a push. The worry is looting in here. Adam Reynolds yeah. dives. And he Players are entitled to go shoulder to shoulder to the ball. However, Harry Grant pushes Herbie Farmworth. Now Adam Reynolds dives and face plants. He lands straight in his face. He knocks himself out. Adam Reynolds grounds the ball on the dead ball line. However, in our opinion, Herbie Farmworth would have got to the ball without the interference from Harry Grant. Wow. We have a decision. Ooh. Now, they've called for the stretcher for Adam Reynolds. So this will be 
penalty try. Penalty try, there it is. So good news there for Brisbane with the try to Herbie Farnworth, but there's real concern here for Adam Reynolds as the try is awarded under the post being a penalty try. Well, you can see the players. A lot of players have rushed down. Payne Haas is there. He won't be back tonight, Adam Reynolds. Yeah, well, all concerns for him at the moment. It's bittersweet for the Broncos, who are on the board with a try. Is Reynolds, that? beautiful jink here by Reese Walsh, gets through the line. Harvey Norman replay off the knee. I think Fernsworth goes to goes to pull up and gets in the face of Harry Grant. It's a, it's a really tough call. On replays in slow motion, it can look like a push, but I think Farnsworth has just pulled up in front of him, and Harry's just bracing himself. Harry's always got his eyes on the ball. Harvey gave him a push early. Herbie gave him a push early. That's a harsh call. Yeah, they're both competing for the ball. That's a harsh call. Herbie Farnworth pulls up in his face when he's got the ball at his feet, and Harry just runs into the back of him. I don't think it's a deliberate push at all. So what will happen here if Reynolds going off? Corey Pace will come on. Ezra Mann will go to seven. Ezra Mann will go to seven. And whether Billy Walters will go to five, eight. Well, Ezra Mann may well be targeted as the long-term seven for the Broncos anyway. Down here, Billy. Yeah, the Melbourne crowd certainly disagree with that decision. But just to, in regards to Corey Pakes going on the field, I, I think Billy Walters will go into the halves. Uh, spend a bit of time down at the Melbourne Storm, actually, as a number six. So uh, I think he'll handle that well. But um, obviously, Ezra Mam, he's the one that's got to step up in the absence of Adam Reynolds now. Hey, Billy, I just want to quickly ask you about the form of Reese Walsh. Yeah, I think he's been brilliant, Joey. I watched him closely uh, on and off the football. He's building his game nicely. I, I think if you if you come here tonight or you're sitting at home on your couch and you want to know what, what Reese Welch's intentions were, well, it only took about three tackles in. He, he went down a short side running the football. He's nearly run for 100 metres in the, in the opening 17 minutes, so uh, wants to get heavily involved in this match, and, and we know the quality that he has in his game, so uh, that's good signs for the Broncos. He's taking after the kicking duties here, Reese Walsh. Well, I think with, with Reynolds going off, he'll play like the halfback. He's already been playing those short sides, as, as Billy said. But I think he'll jump up at first receiver a lot of the time. Well, it's a good test for the young playmakers to play without their general. Just say again, that's, that's an unbelievably harsh call to get a penalty try there. And we're all locked up. Six all, and plenty to talk about. After a penalty try to Brisbane, I don't know Danica will be on the case, getting us an update soon, as soon as she gets any information on the condition of uh, Adam Reynolds, who face-planted the turf at Amy Park. Six all. So we talk all the time about Payne Haas and Carrigan at Flegler. He's come on this year. Yeah, for the Dolphins next year, isn't it? Jeez, that's a good guy. So Billy Walters has remained at dummy half. Corey Pakes, who did play a lot of football as a junior in the halves. Coming out on the field, they've got options to swap them around. There's some good contact. Kristen Welsh on Payne Haas. Carrigan dummy. Good contact there from... Trent Liero. Strong defensively early on. The Melbourne Storm second rower, Ezra Mann. Kicking to Xavier Coates. Down here, Billy. Yeah, we all thought...
Corey Pakes was the obvious, obvious choice to come on the field, but Marty DePau has come on. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not playing halfback. <laughs> I, I think they're just playing with an extra forward in the middle, so uh, extra responsibility on Ezra Mamman. And like you said, Joey, I think Reese Walsh will step up into that front line as well. Well, I do think Ezra Mann is, is a long-term project as their halfback. Playing a few years with Adam Reynolds is going to be great for him, but he gets a chance tonight to step up. First set of six here for Melbourne. Remus Smith, 20 metres away. Harry Grant. And now Jerome Hughes finds his half-partner, Cameron Munster. Munster taken by Ricky and Walters. King. Straight and hard up the middle there from King. Big opportunity this one for Melbourne. Munster. Short to Liero. Tried to get the arm free. Set restart again. Kristen Welsh. Flegler and Haas. Tackle the big Melbourne Storm front rower. Hughes. There's Nick Meany. Capel and Farnworth. Dropped the, the tackle. Ball, he's yes. dropped it. Yeah, he has. Early in the tackle Where count. Yeah, well Billy. defended, the Broncos. Fast Six moving defence. Rushing hard from the outside. And then working hard from the inside. A jag and error. You just get the feel in this game, even though Reynolds has gone off, this this is going to go right down to the wire. This is breaking that ball. They got away with one there. No challenge coming. It's down. Hit. Okay, in. Enough talking points in the opening 20 minutes Wait. in this game to fill about four or five games of football. There's been plenty going on. Martin Talpau, the only player in Broncos colours tonight who has tasted victory over the Melbourne Storm. Flegler, that is a good run from Thomas Flegler. Payne Haas. That was, that was brilliant then from Payne Haas. What have had the football? Kamakamutha came flying now. Yeah. One, the vision. But two, the awareness. We might keep that and talk about it next break of play. Quick tap. Oh, they've got to come back. He said play on. Did he not? He no. did. But then realised, I think, Gus, one of the Broncos players in front. The to it. Got quick. Mate, he's got to go they the should side. change that rule. It shouldn't the matter. He's come through the rock, mate, broke it down. That's what the penalty's for. No, Payne was in front of It shouldn't matter that someone's in front of you, as long as they don't get involved. Who's in front of him? Payne. Does he say Payne Haas is? Well, oh. gee whiz. You know. They don't finish. Yeah. They've got to change that. They've got to change that. He was off and gone then. Martin Talbau for Brisbane. I'm sure referees get nervous about quick taps producing tries and then being caught out on replay. But that, that was a legitimate quick tap. Big Nelson's on. 21 metres away here, the Broncos. It's Nelson is off for Solomona. Reese Walsh. Lovely ball to Jesse Arthurs. Jerome Hughes makes the tackle. Along with Rima Smith, Farnworth, Mam, Carrigan. He's wrapped up, 10 metres away. Two tackles left in this set. Payne Haas, Ezra Mam, little kick. Jerome Hughes knocks it on. In Magic Round last week, I was staying at the same hotel as the Melbourne Storm, and a sofa Solomona came and introduced himself. I thought he was big. Until I met him, 
He's bigger than that. <laughs> He's a big man. Danica? Yeah, we have some positive news coming out of the Brisbane Broncos sheds. Just speaking with the medical staff, uh, they have said that Adam Reynolds is now able to move his hands and feet in the sheds at the moment, which is certainly uh, positive signs considering he was stretched from the field. Uh, that is the main concern from him. He did also come off uh, with a head injury and that was classified as a Category 2, but some positive signs in that he can move his hands and feet. Big opportunity now for Brisbane. Thank you, Danica. They're five metres away from the line. Payne Haas. Fourth of them in the tackle. Billy Walters, the dummy half. Goes on his own, beats one, gets an offload away. Tapaul finds Ezra Mann. Mann jinking. Back towards the centre of the ground, still staying alive. You can see the players, their wheels are spinning. Really slippery underfoot. Any change of direction. Carrigan now, Katani Stag, short to Flegler. Set restart here for Brisbane. Massive chance here now for the Broncos. Topau. Eight away. Options both sides here for Walters. They go to the left. Ezra Mam at first receiver, short to Kurt Capewell. Still going forward is Capewell. Katoa doing well. Man, throws a dummy not fallen for by Grant and King. Walters, is Reese Walsh, loops the pass, beautiful ball. Jesse Arthurs trying the corner. Beautiful vision. This outstanding young playmaker, Reese Walsh. No fear, no hesitation with the pass. Watch this. Harvey Norman replay. Pulls the defenders in and is able to loop the ball across to his wing out for a free run to the try line. That's brilliant, Andrew. Oh, it wasn't a wall. Watch Will Warbrick. He goes up and the slippery conditions. He turns, goes to turn, and he just slips there for a minute, which gets Jesse Arthur over in the corner. What do you think of that one, Bill? Well, they scored a try last week against Manly where they went out the back to Capewell. And then he dished it off to the winger who scored in the corner. Um, everyone thought there was only two options, Farnworth and, and Capewell. Reese Walsh, well, he had a third one in his mind. Just watch here. Two options, Farnworth short, Capewell out the back, nah, going over the top. Great play, Broncos. He did it in the previous set of six, but he's, his pass floated a little bit behind Arthur's and he didn't get it on the run. This time he made sure to get it out in front. So Arthurs didn't have to steady his, his progress and that just made enough difference to get him to the corner post. He's a good player, this kid. Origin bound. Reese Walsh. From the touchline, wants it to curl back, but it doesn't. Jesse Arthurs wouldn't have been in the team if Corey Oates wasn't injured. The boys had a great start to the season. Really ben benefiting from that season he had at the, the Warriors last year, playing a lot of footy. Yeah, I watched him at the Warriors. You can see the potential. Played a bit of centre there too. He runs without fear. He runs that hard. First one in the NRL at the, the Gold Coast Titans. There's a mistake. An error from the Broncos. And there will be a captain's challenge here. Let's have a look. Okay, Jerry. Captain's challenge from Brisbane. Challenging the call of a knock on. They're claiming a strip. It's looking to determine if the ball is lost or stripped. You can see Harry Grant's left hand rakes at the football and brings it out of Patrick Carrigan's grip. 
The challenge is successful. It's Thank you. So challenge successful. Penalty Brisbane. And the Telstra has some of the best defence in the business, tackling millions of cyber threats every day. Well, that's four penalties to zero. The storm have given away, and, and all those penalties have been coming out of trouble. He'd be filthy, Craig Bellamy. Is that Harry Grant coming out of the run? Has he hurt himself there? Last five sets. All the Broncos, they've done a fair bit of defending the last few minutes in Melbourne Storm. Tapau to Walsh. Now Farnworth. Remus Smith makes the tackle. Tell Baul. Put on his back. Walters. Carrigan in full flight. Payne Haas on the run. Back to Carrigan. Ball playing from the Broncos forwards. Last play. Do they run it? Ezra Man. No, he kicks. And the Broncos players got in each other's way and the storm have got it. That was good to watch. Yeah, and it's just part of the involvement of. Payne Haas's game. Not just a battering ram, not just a worker in the middle, but he's getting himself out to the edges of the field. He's learning how to hit holes. He's learning how to unload and pass. A relieving down, penalty down. here for the Storm. Look at that. Forward to forward on the edge. Beautiful stuff. Back to Carrigan. Well, it's a warning shot for, for Cameron Munster. Munster, if there's a threat, he likes to get up quick on the outside of his back rower and try to spook the attackers not to pass. Harrigan saw that and played short to Payne Haas. And I hear that in school then. This bloke is just, it's a genetic freak. It's just, it's frightening how good he is. Still only 23. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tom Eisenhuth. He grew up about 15 minutes from Newcastle. Jerome Hughes, Ellie Katoa. Funworth did well, but he couldn't find any runners there. Katoa ran again, one handed out a dummy half. Katoa, Nelson Asopa Solomona. Oh, it's a fight. Eisenhuth. Yeah, it is on as play continued. Okay, tackle four. Eisenhuth with the ball. What's going on here? It's Munster, is it? Munster and. Flegler in there. Flegler. Hey, hey. Oh, someone Harry got upset. Right, Let's have a look here. I don't think there's too much just in it. Just walk back first. Payne, just go take it back first, mate. Use it in the back there. Just have a look at Fusey. Well, it's Harry Grant and Flegler. Pat, Pat, take your team back. Pat, take it back, boys. Hey, I think initially Harry Grant resents the tackle or rents, oh, resents the contact. Good. And the rest of it's all pretty much just three tackles in. Harry tackle Grant will grab him around the neck Joe. for no reason. Flegler tries to push him away and now they're into it. Yep. Billy, Queensland teammates. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Something happened in camp a couple of years ago. Was Harry taking Flegler's minibar or something? Yeah. Look, they're into it. Okay. Okay. Todd, Harry's fighting out of his four. weight class, eh? <laughs> Very much so. Uh, tackle four. They must be mates for Harry to stand there and want to do it. Tackle he four. probably knew Flegler couldn't hit him. Tackle and four. it's play on. Of course it's play on. It was nothing. Good stuff. It was nothing. Oh. Let him play Pat. Oh. Eisenhuth playing it. He's king. Oh, right. Munster. Oh, it's kicking for. Oh, it's too yeah, big. It's a poor finish. He doesn't do that very often. Someone with a class of Munster, he never gets that wrong. That is a momentum killer. He just cannot get those wrong. 
All the hard work has gone out the window. That's like shanking an iron iron, isn't it? Some feeling in this game, isn't it? That's good. It's a good quality game. Very impressed with the Broncos. I don't get to see them live too often. They're impressive. They've got bodies in motion. They're moving the ball well. Their defence is moving well. Ezra Mann playing the ball. Kurt Capewell now. Hey, Remus Smith. There's a bit of stuff at the ruck Remus, there after the he tackled Ezra Mann. And then he, he came out. Yep. He's really aggressive. Got him up above the horizontal. Yeah, that's in a dangerous position. You can't do that. That would be a good time to score a try now. You lead by four. Set of six starting about 20 metres out by the time they find touch. Tanaki, you got breaking news for us? Yes, I've just spoken to the Broncos team doctor on an update on Adam Reynolds. So the way that he explained it is when Adam uh, hit the ground, uh, while he did hit his head, his neck also flung back and crushed one of the nerves uh, in his spine. So that's why he couldn't feel his fingers on the field. Uh, he couldn't feel his hands and fingers on the field, which is quite scary for him. Uh, but the good news is that he has regained that feeling in his hands and fingers. But as you can understand, he will not be back into the action at all tonight. Just watching Big Nelson, I think he's He's popped a rib cartilage. He looks in all sorts. We'll keep an eye on him as Ricky puts it down. The penalty count. He's gone. Nelson's gone, I think. He's waving to the sideline in the backfield. He's off. Yeah, that's a rib cartilage. Yeah. You can see the way he's holding it. When it's in a certain spot, it just takes your breath away. Tipping into big whip cartridge, too. Grant attempting a 40-20. Oh, and it took an ugly bounce. I had lunch with my old coach, Warren Ryan, during the week, who Gus has had a lot to do with, and we're talking about Harry Grant. The rap he gave Harry Grant, he knocked me off my feet, what he said about it. He rates him up there with the very best dummy hearts who ever, ever played the game. He's building his game. This is one part of his game. This has improved this year. It's that area, that 40-20, when he gets close to the middle of the field. Plays 80 minutes. He's some player. I can remember talking to Warren Ryan 30, 40 years ago about the game and how the game will evolve. And even back then, he was predicting the role of the dummy half, the role of the hooker, would become even more prominent sometimes than the other playmakers in the team. Preempted the likes of Badiris and Cameron Smith, and now these types of players like Harry Grant. And so much of the game now is dominated by the man who touches the ball most, the dummy half. But he was saying it 30, 40 years ago. Penalty, Melbourne. A Storm player was taken out by Katoni Staggs, who was trying to come through and put pressure on Ezra Mann when he was putting the kick in. This will show it. It was Flegler who took him out. Yeah, he can't move. He moved half a foot to the left, Flegler. It's a soft one, but you can't do it, and his arm's out. All right, now a chance for the Melbourne to apply a little bit of pressure. Munster throws the dummy, and he's going to be tackled by Talpau. Big chance here for the Storm. Grant, Eisenhuth. Oh, beautiful pull. Now Grant finds King. King's wrapped up by Flegler and Salpau. Ten away. Grant. Aaron Penne. 
couple of metres away from the line. Six minutes before half time, the Storm would love a try here. Munster goes short to Liero. Liero wrapped up. Walters and Ricky tried to get a quick play the ball. It might have been a six again, not forthcoming. Eisenhuth, Hughes, Jerome Hughes can't get a pass away. Good tackle back, Carrigan. Last play here for the Storm. Munster kicking for Xavier Coates. That's a better kick. But the Broncos have got it. And it'll be a dropout. He didn't get it wrong that time. Landed it right on the spot. And watch the AFL influence on the catches from the Storm. Xavier Coates, look how early he goes up. And he's got that knee trying to get up on the shoulder of Cobbo. You see, he lifts the knee, trying to get up and stay up there and hang. Ten seconds, let's go. Well, plenty of pressure here for the Broncos. Reese Walls. It went 10. Finds touch. No, no, it didn't go 10. Went 9.9. Storm have taken the quick tap. Here's Remus Smith. Tries to get away from Farnworth. He does, but Ezra Mam's there to clean up. Grant. Now Katoa. Put on his back. Good tackle, Kurt Capewell. Jerome Hughes. Munster. Players in motion. Meany. Nice tip on Liero. Xavier Coates. That was great skill. Two tackles left here for the Storm. Grant, centre of the ground. Now this will be play on. Warbrick's got it. Arthur's got him. Nice ball there to Rima Smith, and he's wrapped up. Last tackle here, Melbourne. Hughes. There's the contest. Cobo knocks it on. Munster. More pressure here from the Storm. Looking to even things up late in the half. Aaron Penne. You can't miss him with a haircut like that. Tackle by Corey Jensen. Now Munster with a step. Ricky and Walsh wrapping up the Storm number six. Grant, Eisenhuth, Hughes. Little grab a kick for Remus Smith. He was taken out. We're going to have a look at this. Look out. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, have no try. I am a fair way from the ball, but on field, we've got a penalty. Just need a review. We've got any other plays around it, mate. He was a long, long way away from the ball. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chasers on the right are on side. Yeah, he just sticks the elbow out. This will be close to a sim bin. There is a legal contact on Remus Smith. Just now assessing the proximity of other players to the ball. Keep an eye on Ezra Mam, the Broncos 5'8 here. He had a lead, Ezra Mam, and the ball does go dead. Might have beaten them all anyway. Yeah, Ezra Mam is closer to the ball than Remus Smith. We're ruling out a penalty try. However, there is a professional foul by Herbie Farmworth. Well, he'll be off to the bin. He won't be back until seven minutes into the second half. Herbie, take out the chance. That's the side they're going to attack. Young back rower, Eli Katoa. They can get him in space on that right side. Well, they're normally very deadly here, the Melbourne Storm, when you're down to 12 men. 
And I can imagine Munster coming around to this yep. side as well, linking up with Hughes and Meany. I've been really impressed with the improvement in the Broncos' defensive line, but it's about to get a thorough examination right now. Here we go. 13 on 12, Jerome Hughes, Aaron Penne, Flegler, Ricky and Jensen in there. Grant takes off. Flegler's all over him. Nice ball there to Meany. Grant, Katoa. That's the area of the park Herbie Farnworth would have been defending, but Kurt Capel and Ezra Mann do well. Hughes, Eisenhuth, short to Penne. Munster's come back to the right. There he is at first receiver, going to Jerome Hughes. Remus Smith, Will Warbrick for the corner, Will Warbrick! Scores for the Storm and we're all locked up. Cameron Munster came from left side to right side as predicted. He didn't get it the first time. Harry Grant ran on his own. This time he demanded it. He said, Harry, I need the ball. As soon as he did Harvey Norman replay, he starts them off, they create the overlap. And Warbrick had a little bit to do. Ezra Mann probably should have come up with a tackle there. But Warbrick finds the line. He loses his feet here, Ezra, Ezra Mann. He dives, he had to keep the feet moving and drive. Just dives, loses his feet, drops his head. Billy? Now this is all off the back of that professional foul by Herbie Farnworth. And sometimes you'd rather the, the penalty try. You know, the Melbourne Storm only took 30 seconds to score this try. Nice little movement played nice and straight Munster. Beautiful hands by Remus Smith and, and Will Warbrick, who's having a great season. Played rugby sevens only a couple of years ago. He's doing a great job on that right wing. They've still got another seven minutes in the second half with 12 men, the Brisbane Broncos. So they've lost their captain, their halfback, down to 12 men for 10 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a huge task for them, but they're up the top of the ladder for a reason. This will be the test they needed. Hey, Billy, when he first came over, Warbrick, how was he? What condition was he in? Yeah, he was in great condition. He's obviously a, a great athlete, Will. Um, he, he's just taken a little bit of time to, to learn the game. Although there's there's similar traits, rugby union to rugby league, it, it still takes a while to, to get the understanding, especially defensively, but he's doing a great job this year. Meany. No. Across the face. No goal. We're all locked up at 10 points all. A time for one or two plays before half time, but we have got a good one for you tonight. The Storm and the Broncos putting on a show, and we're only halfway through. Hope you're enjoying this one on Nine's Wide World of Sports as we have another look at Will Warbrick's try right around the country tonight, Thursday night footy. Special good evening to those of you watching on Channel 9 in Melbourne tonight. Great shot of Amy Park. All those lights on the roof as well. Munster taking the kickoff. And Aaron Penne. Harry Grant, the dummy half. King wrapped up by Tapau. And that will be the final play of an action-packed half of football. So many talking points, so many highlights. We anticipated a great game, and that's exactly what we're getting. At the break, the Melbourne Storm and the Brisbane Broncos locked up at 10 all. Well, for goodness sake, Sylvester uses a stunt man. We're, on, we're underway for the second half, by the way. But it is the most extraordinary reality show I have ever yes. seen. Bring it on, Sunday night, 7 o'clock on 9. I'm going to watch it with one eye shut. Here's Aaron Penne for the Storm. 13 on 12, remembering. Good first half. Very even contest, as the score shows us. Broncos seven minutes now with 12 men still. Tom Eisenhuth playing the ball. Eight short of the halfway line. Josh King goes beyond the halfway line. Munster. 
Maurice Walsh takes that one well. They're going to throw a pass there to Jesse Arthurs. And there's Adam Reynolds in the what, bottom of the screen. Just watching him at half time. He was talking to the doctors or physio, and he was pointing down his shoulder, down his arm. Obviously talking about the nerve pain. Well, will obviously have scans early in the week, early next week, but I'm going to be careful with that, Adam. Corey Jensen. And the ball. It's Flegler. Forced back in the tackle. Just a hold it. Did really well. Last play here for Brisbane, Reese Walsh. Nick Meany. Drifting across field. Links up here with Will Warbrick. Try score just before half time for the Melbourne Storm. Remus Smith. Ali Katoa, strong charge towards the halfway line. Running hard in the early minutes of the second half here, the Storm. Jerome Hughes inside to Nick Meany, well read though. Taupau and Ezra Mayer making the tackle. Hughes. Wrapped up by Jensen and Flegler. Last play here. Munster with a kick. Reese Walsh underneath it, takes it well. Now the Broncos are going to have to control the ball here while they're down to 12 because they've become a little bit more submissive with their defensive line. They're not moving up as quickly. Now they're a man down and that's opening up space for the Storm to move the ball. Make sure they get it right to the other end of the field before they give it back to them. A the poke in the eye, it looks like. Receiving attention. Jensen. Last play here for Brisbane. It's Ramim kicks. To Xavier Coates. Big games keep coming for us on night. In the bottom of your screen, you can see a reminder about tomorrow night. Panthers v Roosters on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Be a beauty too. The Roosters need to find some form, don't they? It'll be a good game tomorrow night. King now for the Storm. Legler with the tackle. Ricky, he's all good. He cleaned up. Munster with a high kick on the last. Pressure here on Reese Walsh. He puts it down. Liero's got it for Melbourne. Goes to Grant. Now Katoa. Jerome Hughes. No one in front of him. Passes to Warbrick. And Will Warbrick. He's fired up. Melbourne are back in front. Well, that's his pressure. Reese Walsh comes up with probably what you'd call an unforced error. There's always pressure, even if that looks to be an easy catch. Harvey Norman replay. He just puts it down. And Melbourne Storm quickly take advantage of it and swing the ball out to the right-hand side. Hughes scurries towards the corner, but uses his wingman. And the Melbourne Storm hit the front. That's two tries while the Broncos have been down to 12 men. What about the pass from Ellie Katoa? The big Kiwi gets the ball and just goes whoosh and hits the mark. Bruce Walsh in that position normally jumps to protect. He tried to move late to get away from the chases from Xavier Coates coming down, just spills his lollies. He's been a find, hasn't he? Warbrick. First double in the NRL for Will Warbrick. Sorry, animal, mate. Well, the try hasn't been confirmed yet. Oh, look out. 
Okay, the try's still under review. We just need to have a look at Xavier Coates on the kick chase. Okay, Xavier Coates is required to have both feet behind the ball at the point it is kicked. His left leg is in front of the point of the kick. He's the player that puts pressure on Rich Walsh and causes the knock on. You have a decision. Wow. I know it's pedantic, but you've got to get that right. And they all know that both feet have to be behind. So Xavier Coates was offside at the kick and puts pressure on and causes the knock on. Heard the explanation there from really Smith. There oh, you it's go. A shandy. Really? Really? If we were going to be that panic about offside on every play of the ball of the game, how many penalties do you think we'd have? Seriously? Yes. I'm with you. You don't need a lip reading expert to work out what Craig Bellamy was saying there. Seriously? Give me a break. Back to 10 all. Wilbur doesn't have a career double yet. Well, Billy Slater would have never scored his try in 2004 if that happened. <laughs> Marty I was Tupper. waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> I can't even remember what year it is now. I'm that angry about it. You know what year it was. <laughs> you know what minute it was. <laughs> Carrigan. Who's been two minutes away from having the game back at 13 on 13? Flegler. Has he had a break yet, Flegler? I don't think he has, has he? January. Reese Walsh kicks for the in goal area. He gets a nice bounce, and Nick Meany has to walk it dead. Well, listen to uh, Darren Lockyer talk about Tom, Thomas Flegler. Now, wh where's he from? Is, is, he, is he from a farm? In his ground, in his well, is his banana farm. A banana farm. He looks like a banana farm. Do what he looks like. He looks like a front rower. And he's tough. There he is. He he's looks like a banana farm. Yeah. You have a look at it. What a banana farmer is supposed to look like? Thomas My Flegler. <laughs> My grandfather was a banana farmer. He didn't look like Thomas Flegler. Oh, almost a flying take. Well, if he was a grandfather, it didn't filter down to the second generation, <laughs> Peter. That's right. <laughs> down to you, Billy. Yeah, big Tom Flegler. He's a banana farmer. He's he's from a place called Tully, just south of Innisfail. Um, really wet place. So these conditions down here will <laughs> certainly suit Billy, Tom Flegler. Can you see if he's sunburnt? Has he been out in the sun? I want to be picking bananas. He's neck. He's he looks I think like he's, he's got sunburned. I, I, I think it's the lights down here. He's been sunburned tonight. Big fella. He's done well. He hasn't had a break yet. You, you're right. 46 minutes straight. Him and Patrick Carrigan have been out in the middle. Set restart for the Melbourne Storm. Melbourne on the front foot. So that wasn't a set restart before. The alarm went off for it, but they didn't reset the tackle count, I don't think. Anyway, here's Munster to Hughes. Quick hands, Meany. Beautiful ball. Warbrick. Jesse Arthurs is there. See Herbie Farmworth making the tackle. He's back from the naughty boy corner. Eisenhuth. Strong off the bench for the Melbourne Storm. Playing the ball, 15 away from the Broncos line. Munster kicks here for Xavier Coates. And Billy Walters cleans up for Brisbane. It's a good game. Just 
just looking at some of these Broncos players, even though we're only seven or eight minutes into the second half, that little period with only 12 men has taken its toll on some of these forwards. Kevin Walters might be looking for his interchange a bit earlier. Farnworth. Good play. Move the ball. Still haven't seen Corey Pakes or Kobe Hetherington for Brisbane. No Bronson Garlic yet for the Melbourne Storm. There's Kobe Hetherington, the bottom left. Training for the Tour de France with Payne Haas on the bike. It's Jason Hetherington's son. Yes. Yeah. Glad he looks like his mum. <laughs> Good evening, Jason. The great characters. From Baralaba. That's a strong charge from Christian Welsh. And set restart this time for the Melbourne Storm. And Jason Hetherington, former Bulldog, and his other son, Zach Hetherington, lower grades at, at Canterbury. Katoa now for Melbourne. Wells, Munster. Can't get away. Oh, good ball. He's dropped it out the back, and Harry Grant's got it. Talpau and Capewell wrapping up the Melbourne Storm number nine. Ten minutes gone in the second half. We're locked up at ten all. Here's Jerome Hughes. Through goes Hughes. Got Katoa in support. Now Melbourne are in front of oh, no, no, What about that? Ezra Mann has knocked the ball out of the grasp of Ali Katoa. This will be close. No but what about Mann? No grounding. That's the play of the year. The play of the year. Ali Katoa thinking about the post try celebration. He's on his way behind the post. Hughes with a lovely little right foot step. He's very dangerous with this jink. Yeah, clear that there's no obstruction when the line break is made. Katoa backs up on the inside. Ezra Mann does not give up. Now looking to determine whether Ellie Katoa retains possession <laughs> in attempting to ground the ball. Oh, play of the year. Wow. Play of the year. That's not giving up on a play. Ellie Katoa fails to ground the ball. Just looking whether the action of Ezra Mann is an attempt to knock the ball out or it's just a loose carry. He's playing for the ball. <laughs> he knows where the ball is. Well, then Billy Walters picks it up. Oh, no, he doesn't. Jordan Ricky picks it up. Jordan ricky has got the Hannibal Lecter going. <laughs> Yeah, Ezra Mam is uh, attempting to make a tackle, and the ball is lost by Eli Katoa. <laughs> Player of the year. Take a bow, Ezra Mam. Oh, Only a third of the way through it, but that's the Player of the year. Wonder how Coach Bellamy. Who he handled that one? Well, Eli Katoa was thinking about who he's going to wave to in the crowd when he puts his ball down. Have a look in the bottom right. There you go. <laughs> There's your answer, Joey. Mate, that swear jar he's got up there. <laughs> Next by, they could all fly to Bali. All the Storm players. Who'd want to be a coach? Justin, get out! Oh. Well, that's another let off for the Broncos. You can't watch Craig Bellamy. But we can. Herbie Farnworth can't find Jesse Arthurs. Yeah, just they go wide here. Just watch the defence of Melbourne. When you're defending a fullback like Rhys Walsh, it's very dangerous to back off. Look at Jerome Hughes. Look at him backing off. Very difficult, very dangerous if you're backing off a player like Rhys Walsh. And on the outside, Herbie Farnworth. Final pass goes to ground. But you're playing with fire if you're going to back off and you're marking this young man. He is lightning. Okay, off you go. Oh. 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 
Ash for both. 10 all. 12 minutes into the second half. Pretty fancy from here. I like the storm. Yeah, well, they look most likely at the moment, don't they? They've had the try disallowed and the bomb try right there. Yeah. Munster scored that try early. Yeah. Seen too much of Munster. I thought he'd shoot the lights out tonight. Kobe Hetherington on the field for Brisbane. He's involved in that tackle along with Pat Carrigan. Munster kicking on the last. Reese Walsh again takes that one well. He looked to attack straight away, but Trent Lahero wrapped him up. Sheldon Cobbo driven back. Quick play the ball. No marker. Billy Walters takes off. He is so strong, Cobbo. Still growing in that body, too. Not a good look. Jordan Ricky playing the ball. Payne Haas standing in the tackle of King and Katoa. Man, Kurt Capewell. Well wrapped up on the last. It's a turnover. No, no, no. Let's go. Hold. Monstered there by Jensen and Haas. Christian Welsh. Now Harry Graham, Cameron Munster. Hetherington and Carrigan in the tackle. Trent Liero. By Carrigan and Walters. Last play here for Melbourne. Munster to Hughes. Jerome Hughes kicking to Jesse Arthurs. Who almost got through. Herbie Farnworth. Tom Eisenhuth trying to affect the one-on-one -on -one steal. The other defenders dropped off. Pat. Here goes Cobbo, but look at that. Pat Carrigan, 164 metres. Payne Haas, 154. Set restart here for Brisbane. That's a good hit. Great tackle. Sprints to the threat, gets off the, the defensive line, gets in Katoni Stagg's face. for the Storm. Well, that'll go back and Christian Welsh will play the ball. Nelson Sopa Solomona is about to come back onto the field, which is good news for Melbourne. Here's Jerome Hughes. Short to Katoa. There he is. He's just on the field. King. Nelson Sopa Solomona. Tackle there by Payne Haas. Now he's grabbed an ankle. In the wars, big Nelson. Wow, he went straight there too. It's he hasn't moved. Yeah. Oh, is this is this a hip drop? Yeah, he loses his legs. You just cannot let those legs when you're defending come off the ground, let his feet go off the ground, the momentum swings around and lands on the back. And hey, Big I Nelson. I you out. I don't need you. Yeah, I think he just got swung around there. I don't well, it's just it's, momentum. Yep. Yeah, I don't think it's any yep. deliberate action. Yep. Okay. Here comes Pat Carrigan. Now he's been called out. Let's see what the result is. How have you seen that? Okay. 
The tackle's been reviewed, okay? It's a hip drop, it's on report, and you're in the bin. That's so harsh. Can you tell me as a captain, as a Pat, captain? Pat, Pat, let me talk. The tackle's been reviewed. Hey, can you tell me how you've seen it? Pat, listen. The tackle's been reviewed. It's a hip drop action. You've landed on the legs. You're in the bin, okay? Pat Carrigan off for the sin bin for 10 minutes. Billy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure what, what you guys think about that, but I think they got that totally wrong. That, that's that's just momentum. Of course that's it is. That's just momentum it's, it's swinging momentum around the tackle. For sure. it, it didn't even look like a hip drop and, and, until there was an injury. Uh, I just think that that's momentum. He's held onto the tackler. Very unfortunate, that one. He well, just got swung around in the tackle. Anyway... Storm are going to take the two points. Nelson's gone off. He's down the tunnel. Speculation about Craig Bellamy this week with the big announcement on his future. Kevin Walters done a great job with his team this year. Even over the last couple of years, he's persevered with some young blokes and look at where they are now. But the storm should go to the front. Maybe gets it. Right. Storm in front by two. 23 minutes remaining here on, in this kickoff. Almost went too far. So close to that one being a penalty to the Melbourne Storm on the halfway line. So we come a Kamita. We saw a shot of Broncos coach Kevin Walters a moment or two back. It is a milestone for him tonight. 300th game involved with the Brisbane Broncos as both a player and coach. Well done to Kevin Walters. Now Hughes, Rima Smith. Elected to go on his own. Harry Grant, King. Munster on the last. Selvin Cobbo under this one. Down here, Billy. Hey, we talk about moments in, in team season. And, and the Broncos have had a great start to the year. They're sitting on top of the ladder, only dropped the two games. And this could be a real, a real moment in their season down here in Melbourne. They've, this is the second person that's been sent to the sin bin. They've, they've lost their halfback, their general and, and captain in Adam Reynolds. If they can conjure up a victory in this match, this could be a real confidence boost heading into the middle part of the year and then obviously the back end of the year. It's, you look at these, these games under adversity and these young players, they'll be learning a lot out there tonight and it could be a real moment in their season here. Oh, strip from Reese Walsh, and he's in under the post. Reese Walsh for Brisbane, a one-on-one -on -one steal, and the Broncos are in, and they're in front. When's this second man coming to this tackle? Reese Walsh, watch the technique. He's thinking strip all the time because he tackles the ball, doesn't tackle the man. He goes straight at the ball. Harvey Norman replay. No, this will be a penalty. Two men in the tackle as Ramim gets in there. Yeah. One of those players is just thinking all the time. Looks straight at the ball. I think he's got the ball anyway. I don't think the second man's got any influence on the tackle. He's got the ball before Ezra Man makes a touch. Technically, they'll probably overrule it, but he's already got the ball long before Ezra Man has any effect on the tackle. He's got it now. 
That was always inten his intention. Billy. Yeah, I was watching Todd Smith, the referee, really closely. Uh, when they put it under review, they generally overturn it. All but players are on side on the kick chase. I'm just going to see whether whether Reese has got the ball and dislodged it from Will Warbrick before Ezra gets into the tail. I think he Reese Walsh. Boy, it's takes close. possession from Will Warbrick after Ezra Mam has joined the tackle. Yeah, so they're, they're so going to award their strike. I, I just want to talk about Reese no, Walsh. Be a strip, Billy. That's a strip, Bill. Oh, it's a strip. So Ezra was in the tackle. You, you make your own luck in this game. Reese was the one that kicked the football, and he led the kick chase down there. Like I said, that adversity that they're under, these young players are standing up for the Broncos. And big play by Reese. They didn't get away with it that time. A quarter of the game remaining. Melbourne in front by two. Wait for the top. Wait. So we're playing it. So much ball movement down the left side to Melbourne. I remember Justin Nolan getting much ball. A lot of it's gone to the other side. The legs. Harry Grant, Jerome Hughes, Ali Katoa. Man down low. Unworth over the top. Hughes, Munster. Now Meany, still alive, Nick Meany. Flick pass, Justin Olam. He can't wind up. Stags affected the tackle, here's the last. Munster with a kick. Let's look at the contest. Hughes has got it, still the last. The always dangerous second kick. Xavier Coates knocks it back, Justin Olam try. It's smart play from Jerome Hughes. Firstly, the kick from Munster was perfect. For a left foot kicker on the right hand side of the ruck, players rushing from his inside. He gets a kick away, really beautiful. Harvey Norman replay, and then Jerome Hughes gets the ball. This is class. As soon as he gets it, he thinks, where's my jumper? There he is out there, Xavier Coates. Xavier Coates, Billy Walters, I think it'll be one winner there. And then Justin Ollam, he picks up the crumbs. Smart play. About Munster getting out of the way. <laughs> Munster could tell what Hughes was going to do and got out of his way. Justin Olam. One of Rugby League's great success stories. That's a great kick. And the try's just been confirmed. Well, this is a big kick. Six a difference. I wouldn't class Nick Meany as a first string goal kicker. He's more a, But he can strike them well on his day. It's a big one. Stretch the lead beyond six. Will it hold its line? It doesn't. Storm in front by six, 18 minutes remaining in Kia. Thursday night footy on Nines Wide World of Sports. And we'll be 13 on 13 in two minutes' time. They've scored two tries, haven't they? What, what players have been in the sim bit? And Farnworth was in there. 
Will Warbrick scoring just before the break. There's Pat Carrigan waiting patiently. Harry Grant scheming by Billy Walters and Kobe Hetherington. Meany. Last play, Melbourne. Munster. Popo underneath it for Brisbane. Oh, he juggled it. How did he, how did he regain possession there? I reckon every game we say that. How did he do that? He's just, he's got a bit of magic about him, Selwyn. Kevin Walters would have called that no, magic, though. No. Watch his hands. <laughs> Too good. Reese Walsh, Katani Stag, Selwyn Cobbo. Bumps away from Justin Olam. Not too many do that. I think I've ever, never said that. There's a first. Payne Haas. Good Brisbane ball. looking to respond. Reese Walsh. Lovely ball. Kurt Capel. Can't find. Warbrick, great outside. tackle. Yeah. Doing very well. Now Billy Walters goes here to Reese Walsh. Kicks. And then the Stormer got it through Jerome Hughes. This will be a penalty, Melbourne. Back over here, Jerome. You see him, mate. See Justin behind. So much happening. Melbourne now through Tui Kamikamita. Australia's greatest rivalry, State of Origin, is back in 2023. Don't miss Game 1 of the men at the Adelaide Oval, May 31, and Game 1 of the women's at Combank Stadium the next night, Thursday, June 1. Head to nrl.com slash tickets now. Trent Liero hit hard by Thomas Flegler. Christian Welsh, Pat Carrigan's back out in the field. He's in that tackle. Help! Pull of held came. It's been strong Welsh to, tonight. We're 13 on 13 as Munster puts that kick in the air. It's a falcon. It's off the head there of Jordan Ricky. Billy Walters. Penalty Melbourne. Billy Walters Billy has been penalised here. You take the two. Very gettable kick. And pull that kick left. The previous kick, Nick Meaney. Well, they're, going for the, they're going for the try. What was the penalty for? No, they're going for goal. I'll tell you the mark is. Hang on. So you Billy Walters that. took out Cameron Munster. That led to the penalty. And we've got time off because they're assessing, I think, Jordan Ricky back play. They're going to take the two. Nick Meaney to make it an eight-point lead for Melbourne. And he guides it through.
12 and a half minutes remaining. The margin is eight. That kick off almost went into touch. And they've tried that a couple of times tonight. Brisbane. Oh, what about that? You heard that one in your lounge room at home. Flegler on Warbrick. Nelson Asafa Solomona. Strong charge from him. Straight up the middle. Now Christian Welsh thought about a pass to Liero. Held on to it. Last play. Munster. Reese Walsh thought about attacking it. Storm got a catch on it. Ricky's got it for Brisbane. Well, they're just not doing enough with the ball, the Broncos. Storm have suffocated in this second half. Down under 12 minutes and they're eight behind. It's time is the enemy now. Toby Hetherington for Brisbane. And Carrigan. Last play here for the Broncos. Will Wolbrick's got it for Melbourne. And a good kick return as well. Game tomorrow night. Penrith against the Roosters. At the foot of the mountains. Will be a special class we're all looking forward to. 7.30 tomorrow night from Nine's Wide World of Sports. And on Nine now. Sui Kamakamita. Graham Hughes. But away from Flegler, can't get away from Carrigan. He's dangerous when he comes off that right foot step. Munster, and a heap of time to put that kick in. There's the contest, still alive here. First, Brisbane. Brisbane knock on first, Melbourne ball. Like can challenge if you like. It was a great kick, but it was a great chase. Well, Xavier Coates, he gets down there and competes. Comes challenge from Brisbane. Broncos like got to challenge it. Double knock on, first from Brisbane, then Melbourne. Yeah, they're challenging their decision, mate. All on side. Yep. Okay, left side kick chases on side. The so ball is right initially here. knocked back by Xavier Coates. There is no knock on by Brisbane at this point. Jeez, I thought I hit his hand. So on Cobo's right hand. Now need to determine if Nick Meany makes contact with the ball before Reese Walsh. Oh. It's almost simultaneous. I think Reese Walsh. Just this angle might show it. Ooh. Yeah, just looking to determine whether Nick Meany or Reese Walsh contact the ball first in this instance, looking at all available angles. Yeah, it's Nick yeah Meany's first. right hand makes contact with the ball before Reese Walsh. The challenge is successful. A good challenge in the Reece, end. Back on the 10 meter line. What was adamant, Reese Walsh? You Brisbane boy, born and bred, yeah. Yes. Oh. Well, they need to try it, and they're at the wrong end of the field at the moment. They've never really played any attacking football in this second half at all. The Storm have just dominated them territorially. 
Yeah, you, Danica. This all is showing of fans here tonight at Amy Park. We've got 16,043 in the house tonight. Considering it is a very chilly night here in Melbourne, it's um, a great show of support for Melbourne fans. Making plenty of noise too, as they always do, the loyal supporters of the Melbourne Storm. up nicely for Nick Meany. It's been some effort from the Broncos, considering the players lost their captain and their general. Two players of the sim bin, Melbourne Storm, 57% of possession. Still be in the game. Great effort. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Harry Grant. There goes Harry. Beautiful ball to Meany. Is that a break, is he? Harry Grant. Been on the whole time. Set restart here for Melbourne. Munster. Full pass. pass. Went out the scrum. Yep. Gus, do you see the storm as a okay, premiership off. threat? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I think they've lost a wealth of experience in their forwards, and we're seeing that really assist the, the new club, the Dolphins, up there this year. Um, and looking at what South Sydney did to dismantle them last week, I think. Now, they're, they're always going to win a lot of games through their professionalism and these great playmakers, you know, Grant and... Hughes and Munster, but I just I don't know about genuine premiership credentials. And tonight, I'm a little disappointed in the Broncos. I know they've had players in the sin bin and and all of that, but you know they, they need to go away and still keep working on their game as well to be a genuine contender. I, I think the premiership winner this year is well hidden. I don't think they've identified themselves just yet. If defence wins, comes the Panthers probably win again, but. Um, you know, some teams have got potential to improve between now and the end of the year. Do we know how far Pappenhausen's off? It's just, no one knows, do they? Something indefinite. Yeah. Break. It's unfortunate, but I don't think it's going to be any time soon. Well, that's a big penalty once again. No, 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 no. Poor no. discipline. Okay. Piggybacks to the Broncos coming out of trouble. We've had a lot of penalties tonight. That's the 17th penalty, and we've had seven, six again. So it's 24, 24 penalties during the course of the game. We've had two sin bins, a penalty try. A bit going on. Yeah, they've been busy. With another six again. Oh, that pass goes to Remus Smith. On tackle zero. What happened there? They missed the target. Bronson Garlic now for Melbourne. 20 metres away. Well, tonight's had everything. Kristen Welsh, what a performance. Kristen Welsh tonight. Now to Ryan Hughes. Grant, Nelson Asafa Solomona stands in the tackle. Last play, Munster, Justin Olam. Good tackle down low, got the ball away. Xavier Coates, interesting kick. That goes backwards. This will be extraordinary if they can make something work here. There's another kick from Coates. Reese Walsh knocks it on. Trent Liero's got it. Now Jerome Hughes kicks on tackle zero for Will Warbrick. He takes it and scores the try of the season. What a try, the Melbourne Storm. Adelaide footy at its best. OK, the first question is, did Jerome Hughes know that he had six again? <laughs> Do you reckon he knew? No, surely not. The referee's right in front of him. He yelled six again, six again, but he kicked it anyway. 
What's this about the third kick in the play? Richwells tries to get the ball. Comes to Hughes and he says, ah, tackle zero, why not? Harvey Norman replay, Warbrick gets the grab, muscles his way to the in goal. He gets his double. As soon as he gets the ball, Jerome Hughes, he's thinking kick, kick, kick. Great play, great catch. Look at him surge to the line, Warbrick. He's a fine. Oh, he's pumped up. Billy. Well, they've done that really well tonight, the Melbourne Storm. They, they've got tall, big, athletic wingers, and they've kicked to them often. Uh, got a couple of results of Xavier Coates. One try, and now Will Warbrick's got himself a try. He's nice and wide coming into the football. And Jesse Arthurs, he was going away from it. So Warbrick had the advantage, and I don't think Jerome knew it was tackle zero. I oh, love the passion Will Warbrick brings. They can find a player, the Melbourne Storm, can't they? Been doing it for a while now. Am I right to say Will Warbrick was playing AFL in New Zealand? I know he played rugby union, played sevens. I'm sure he's playing AFL. Mido says yes, so it must be right. Did you know they played AFL in New Zealand? <laughs> they got like one and a half teams. It well, can't be hard to make the team. <laughs> Nick Meaney. Converts. Now coming up tomorrow night, we're heading to Bluebed Stadium. The Roosters desperate for another win and they've got to do it the hard way against the defending Premiers Penrith. Catch all the action from 7.30 right here on your home of NRL 49's wide world of sports. Big contest tomorrow night. Yeah, boys. There's the finish of the Will Warbrick Hang on, try. Hang on, mate. Stay outside! Brisbane. Trying to get the ball back. And they will. Through Katoni Stakes. Takes. Payne Haas. Goes down with the ball. Aaron Penne, the defender. Carrigan. They've really had no attacking football in the second half, have they? Storm just haven't let them down this end. Billy Walters. Ten away from the line. Payne Haas. And well contained in this second half. You know, 23 sets to 14. Billy Walters kick taken by oh, Munster, inside. but there's a penalty here hey, inside Tristan. the 10. Time off. Hey, Tom, get oh, out Oh, they're into it. Thomas Flegler and Christian Wells. Sharon oh, Penne right. getting involved. Hey, let go, Jordan. Jordan Ricky tried to, but he was dragged away. Yep. Okay. Righto. Walk back, boys. Billy. Billy. Hey. That's strapping on Jordan Ricky. What's it actually doing? Other than holding his top lip up. <laughs> Christian, just keep playing footy, mate. Hey, what happened there? What's it Christian supposed to be doing? Okay, it's here. Time on. It's not improving his looks. Not quick, it's 10 metres. Oh, he's tapping. Christian, footy, mate. Brisbane tap. Ezra Mann goes here to Herbie Farnworth. Corey Pakes, now yeah, here's Thomas Flegler. Look at him in there on Flegler. Get out of there. Come on. No surprise to see Christian Welsh in that tackle. Pakes goes in and scores under the post. Oh, there we go, they're still going. Watch this one. I'm in a water the try, Jerry. 
And no issues with the try, though. He's saying no issues with the try, but he wants to check out what's happened Walk back. here. Either pre, during, or after the try Aaron, is scored. Take goal, mate. Hurry, take me the end goal. Christian, take him in the end goal, mate. It's all about in nothing. The Let's go. <laughs> Melbourne, in the end goal. Let's go. We're not talking about Let's it. In go. the end goal. Plenty to look at here. Here's the try anyway. Gus for Corey Pakes. It's Flegler again. Pretty simple one. Harvey Norman replay. And Penne is more worried about Flegler than he is about the dummy half. Now, whether or not Flegler grabbed him early and that constitutes a penalty, we'll have to wait and see. They've watered the try. Okay. And Penne needs to keep his eyes on the prize. So they're still looking, actually, at this one. Are they? They're still having a look. There's potentially a try. Now it's been confirmed, Gus. Aaron Penne is being pulled out here. Okay, I warned you at the last push and shove about no more. You're in the bin. Off you go. Aaron Penne go, Aaron. goes to the bin. Wait, Sin Tom bin Flegler. number three. And Tom. Tom Thomas Flegler's about to go as well. Send me number Flegler. four. Now here we go. Just go back. Okay, you're in the bit as well, Tom. Push and shove, mate. Too many. I warned you at the last one. Yeah, in mate. the bin for a push and shove, Gus. Yeah. He loves the sin bin, our bunker official. <laughs> Conversion from in front. Corey Pakes gets the try. It's 24 to 16. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. And have a look at the push and shove. Penne and Flegler off to the bin. We finish this one 12 on 12. Go, Cameron. And here is the live ladder. So should the Rabbitohs win over the weekend, they will go to the top of the NRL table. Oh, yeah. Melbourne Storm proving once again that they're going to be a force in this competition. Well, they just win a lot of games through their professionalism and, and their playmakers. And their coach. And their coach. The coach has been brilliant tonight. Very disappointing last week against the Rabbitohs, but he, he steeled them up. Short preparation, didn't worry them. Ezra Man, Reese Walsh, they're backpedalling. Still alive is Walsh. Hail Mary to Payne Haas. Flick pass to Billy Walters. Now Pat Carrigan. What can he do? Throws it out the back. Reese Walsh has got it. They're still keeping it alive here, Brisbane. And does this still play on here? It is for Billy Walters. A minute remaining. Payne Haas, Ezra Mam. Kicks for the corner. Coming out after it is Arthur's. Oh, he just oh. missed it. So close, Nick Meaney got across okay. to deny Jesse Arthurs. Yep. Okay, Brisbane play the ball. Play the balls in the middle. Out off Nick Meaney. There we go, out off Nick Meaney. So Brisbane play the ball, save the day, the Melbourne fullback. Jerry. No, no, you can stop the game, mate. Yeah, it's continuous. Cap 
captain's chance from Melbourne. They're challenging the decision of in a touch off Nick Meany. Captain's challenge, Gus, to extend the night. It's yeah, a funny game, are on side league. from the kick. Storm are trying everything to get possession back here. Just looking to determine who the ball comes off before entering touch. Nick Meaney gets to the ball first, just confirming that there's no touch by Jesse Arthurs. So, looks like Nick Meaney got the touch. Yeah, Nick Meaney touches the ball and knocks it in a touch. The challenge is unsuccessful. So Broncos need to score off this play, decline the kick, so we get a kick off for a grandstand finish. That's right. So that they're going to have to score off this play <laughs> and then decline the kick at goal to stop the clock. 31 seconds. So, can they do the first part of the equation? Reese Walsh, that's knocked down by Justin Olam. And the clock stops. They're doing all this in vain. It's good stuff. It's great stuff there from Xavier Coates. Well, he shows his brilliant athleticism here, Xavier Coates, but it's all for nothing. The crowd are cheering, the players are celebrating. Xavier Coates has run 90 metres. But old mate referee said, none up, we're bringing you back. <laughs> Xavier thinking, well, what was all that about then? Broncos looking for a try. Justin Olam got up very, very quickly. He's ruled that Justin Olam got a touch on it. If he did, he wasn't playing at the ball. That's brilliant athleticism from Xavier Coates. Oh, it's off his head. He threw it into it's his head. It's got to been play on. It's a try. <laughs> it's a try. Oh. It's, it's, a try. <laughs> it's a try. It's a try. <laughs> We've stopped games for less. It's a try. It's off his noggin. It's off his noggin. Come on, Mr. Bunker. Let's see how good you are now. You pull the game up for everything else. Pull it up for this one. Oh, denied a length of the field. They like, they like disallowing them whenever they like. Award one. Award one. Come on, Mr. Bunker. Come on, Mr. Bunker. See how good you are now. No, no, silence. Silence. Well, in fairness, the whistle did blow. Silence. Well, they still didn't stop from chasing him. Good point. They disallow him at the drop of a hat. It's Billy Walters. The Kia knockoff will eventually get to wear at the end of this game. And then I think Carl Stefanovic will... In Serabo will be in the studio. It's a late finish, but we've got there. And the Melbourne Storm has come out on top full time at Amy Park. What a game of football. Well done, the Melbourne Storm. Too good for the Broncos. 24 points to 16.